guys, Bunnage12 here, and welcome back to another video. So, as you can see by the title, I am going to be explaining to you guys why I left the NJO. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because uh, lately I have been asked this question a lot, and ever since I left, I've been asking that question, or I've been asked that question many times. Over and over and over again, and I'm sure some of you folks in the NJO that are still there would also want to know why I left. Now, there are some new viewers in the channel. Hang on, let me unplug my charger really quick. There are some new viewers on this channel who probably have no idea what the NJO is, so before I explain why I left the NJO, let me just briefly explain what the NJO actually is. The NJO stands for the New Jedi Order, which is a group on Roblox one of the many Star Wars groups on Roblox, and uh, it's one of them that I went to and was a part of for a long period of time. Uh, I joined it, I believe, in 2015? 16? One of those two. Because I remember it being Christmas time, and um, I was joining. So, yeah. I joined the group. Um, now, if you don't know, I've actually joined two previous groups before that. The first one being the MBTA Transit Police, which was the first group that I was really a part of. That group ended up dying, so I left it. I was very young at that time, so I was a very cringy kid back then. And then after that, I was part of the United States Military 1960s. Now, that ended up dying as well, and moving on to something else. What it is now is the United States Military 1940s, owned by Eric Model. Um, and I left that group, so I didn't want, I didn't want to transition to that. Then I joined the New Jedi Order, like a year after I left the United States military in the 1960s, because I wanted to be a part of something. And, um, not knowing that I already was, because, I mean, I'm on YouTube, you know? But anyway, I joined the New Jedi Order, and uh, I was very quickly liked by the people that were in the group. Uh, I think, honestly, it was just because of this YouTube channel. They wanted publicity, so, um, I soared through the ranks of that group. Now, on the New Jedi Order, there's this game called Temple on Karelia that people can go to and hang out, attend trainings to get promoted. Really, it was just a hangout area. Um, so, yeah. Now, I quickly soared through the ranks because the high ranks really, really were fond of me. Probably just because of the YouTube channel, to be honest with you. Because I started making videos on the New Jedi Order. So, they began to kind of kiss up to me, you know, because they wanted me to keep making more videos. But the thing is, some people liked me for who I am. Matter of fact, that's what most of them were. Um, now, <clears throat> I was, like I said, soaring through the ranks very high and fast. Very high, that makes sense. <laughs> so, I was getting the attention of very, very, very high ranks. Even the very highest rank of them all, being the Grand Master of the Order, which was, um, at the time, his name was Farmer Jump 1. Now, the other high ranks were very jealous of this. I mean, it's understandable, though. Sorry for that squeaking. Um, it's very understandable, though, because uh, I was reaching ranks much quicker than they were. You know, like, I was reaching the point of getting admin powers at a much quicker pace than they ever could. And I was getting a lot more attention than they were. So they became very jealous of me. And uh, they may not want to admit it, but they know it, and I know it to be true. Okay? They were very jealous of me, so they wanted me gone. I honestly think they wanted me gone very early on, and they just didn't tell me. So, I got administrator powers very quickly, and my job at that point was to keep enforcing the rules on Karelia, which were like, uh, no team killing, no random killing, no spawn killing, and no bullying, and raging, and flaming, and all that stuff. So... The thing is, on Karelia, um, the rules are not very strictly enforced. And they really still aren't, from what I have heard. They really are not very strictly enforced. Uh, now, there are three different teams. There's the Visitors, which are the neutral team, basically, who are people who aren't in the group. There's the Hostiles, who are meant to attack the temple, who are also not members of the group. They're meant to, they're supposed to take the terminal in the temple. They're basically supposed to attack the temple. And of course, there's the Jedi, the new Jedi Order, who are part of the group. The main conflict was between the Jedi and the hostiles, of course. This was just part of the game. It wasn't like beef. It was just part of the game. Now, hostiles, of course, for whatever reason, they're very edgy. A lot of, a lot of hostiles, 
um, because they're like, hey, the NJO sucks. <laughs> um, and they just want to troll. So they are used to, they were used to getting away with breaking rules like team killing and random killing and spawn killing and exploiting. And they were just expected to just walk away with it. I was not like that. When I saw somebody break a rule, I did not give any more mercy than was expected of me. You're supposed to give two warnings. Oh no, one warning, and then let them off. They do it again. Second warning, you kick them. Third warning, you ban them. That simple. Now, most of the time, like I said, they were used to just getting away with it. I actually enforced the rules, and they didn't get away with their um, rule breaking with me. So the hostiles, of course, were mad at me because they weren't, you know, getting their way. So they, too, would complain about me. A lot. Um, now, there was also a lot of conflict that was between me and other HRs. Now, of course, you don't know what HR means. It's high rank. In the NJO Discord chat room. Um, but I was still going higher and higher up in the ranking system. Um, now, eventually, uh, there was an opening for a rank called Master of the Order. Okay, Master of the Order is a special rank that is basically the third highest rank of them all. Uh, and it's special because only one or two people can hold it at a time. Now, <clears throat> there was an opening for it because one of them decided to retire. I was at the fourth highest ranking at that time. So the council had to vote on who was to be ranked up on it. Okay. Now, keep in mind, when this happened, I was already, like, on the fence about staying or leaving the group because I was getting constant harassment from people every day. So I was already on the fence about staying or leaving. This was the last straw, what I'm about to tell you right here. I was voted in to be Master of the Order, okay? I got the rank, so basically that means I was third in command of the whole group, okay? I only answered to the Grand Overseer of the Orders and the Grand Master himself. I answered to nobody else at that point. So... Most of the HRs were livid with me at that point. And another thing about the HRs, it's a constant battle for power within the council. And the HRs themselves, it's a constant battle for power. Uh, they all wanted the Master of the Order rank. They all wanted it. All of them. And if they didn't get it, then they were pissed. They were pissed. They were basically like little children that were mad because they didn't get what they wanted. Okay? So what ended up happening was they made up this false accusation that I was quote-unquote trolling on Karelia a lot while I was Master of the Order. And um, there was some other thing as well. I forget exactly what. So then they had another meeting and all decided, we need to get Barney out. We need to get Barney out of Master of the Order because, oh, he's trolling. Oh, no. When the real reason was just because they wanted to rank themselves. So the thing they did was, so there's this other rank in the group called Elder. Now this rank is for inactive high ranks to be put into that really don't, you know, get involved in the group anymore. Or for high ranks that have done something wrong, or at least in the council's eyes, something wrong. They said, Barney, we're going to give you two choices. You can either start from the beginning, restart all over again, and have to go all the way back up the chain again, or we'll rank lock you at Elder. So I decided to be rank locked at Elder because I wasn't really going to be a part of the group anymore. For whatever reason, I, I decided to stay in the group. Um, but because I still had people there that I really liked. The thing was, though, most of the people who voted to get rid of me as Master of the Order, they, they were my friends. Yeah, they were my friends. I thought they were, anyway. But their greed for power overshadowed everything it, it made them not even care anymore like they were like you know what i know barney's my friend and all and he's done a lot for me but i want my power i want more power so i am going to be i'm just going to go ahead and throw him out the window they literally were they were willing to just toss me aside for their own selfish desires and when i saw that that they were willing to do that all for their own selfish greed I was like, that's it. Because, like I said, keep in mind, this was at the time when I was already on the fence about leaving because I was getting constant harassment every day. Um, so I was like, I'll be rank locked at Elder. Fine. But I'm not going to be a part of this anymore. 
So I made the video, Goodbye NJO. You can still look it up. If you want more information about exactly what happened, I'll leave a link to the video in the description if you want to watch it for yourself. Um, and then after that video was made, Farmer himself came at me, start, tried to roast me. Him, Tawny Prince, and Stinky Matt G, they tried to roast me. Of course they didn't. I mean, those three are so unbelievably stupid, they couldn't even come up with a good roast to save their lives. They couldn't. So, another thing too, I didn't know this at the time, but Farmer is a really screwed up guy. Very screwed up. Um, he's a racist, first of all, okay? On my old computer, I had screenshots of him harassing a, I think it was like a 13-year-old black kid with racism, racial slurs, and just bullying in general. And of course, on top of that, he's a huge cyber bully. And on top of all that, he's a scammer. Yeah, he is a scammer. He scams people out of their Robux, and he has openly admitted that he's done that. And he's even admitted that he has attacked his own group by, like, uh, attacking his own trainings, you know? And he's openly admitted to this kind of stuff, which means he has no shame for it. So, and he, and he also has an undying hatred towards people with autism. Like, he is very vocal about how he absolutely hates people with autism. Even though he has shown signs to me that he may have it himself. Okay? I think he does too, to be honest with you. And I think he just is mad that he has autism. So, he's just going to be like, you know what? I'm going to make fun of everyone else who has it. So, yeah. They got rid of me, alright? After that happened... People begged me to come back a lot. So people were begging me a lot to come back, okay? So I did. I came back. I got my rank back too, which was weird because I wasn't expecting that at all. But I did. I got my rank back. And I thought things were going to go back to normal. Now, there were still a lot of the HRs who were mad at me because, you know, I was rep... Because, I, like, I, for all the reasons said before, they, they were still mad at me. So, there was still constant harassment, okay? Now, at that time, I was doing streams. Um, not the streams that I do today, though. I was doing, like, talk show streams kind of thing. You can still find them if you look back at the channel, okay? I was doing streams about the NJO and about a bunch of other topics. And I would talk about my likes and dislikes about the group. Including things about certain members, okay? There was this one member who was extremely corrupt extremely corrupt i forget his name i wish i could say his name really badly wish i could say his name because i would love to you know see his stupid face when he's heard his name in this video but maybe it's for the best that i've forgotten it but anyway i would explain my distaste about him now this is something that i am was very vocal about at the time okay what goes on in my youtube channel is outside of the njo grounds and should not result in anything that happens in the njo whether it be positive or negative on a meeting, while I was streaming, actually, and most of the people in the meeting were listening to the meeting, the guy came out and said, Barney should not be allowed to talk about members of the group on his streams. And when I heard that, I was livid. I was pissed. So I came and took the floor and said, you may not agree with my opinions about certain things, but keep in mind that this is my YouTube channel, and I only answer to one group of people about the content that I create, and that is YouTube itself, okay? if y Unless you are a part of the YouTube team, I don't have to listen to you about the stuff I make, you know? I can do whatever I want as long as it doesn't break YouTube's terms of service, okay? And obviously, what I was doing talking about how I felt about a Roblox group wasn't breaking YouTube's terms of service, and far from it. So I was free to upload whatever I wanted. Whatever I wanted, in terms of what the NGO was doing, okay? The rest of the council didn't agree with that, though. Well, there was a couple members who were backing me up on this, but the grand majority were not. So they made the decision saying, Oh, Barney, if you continue doing this, we're getting rid of you again. And, um, I was like, you know what? Get rid of me then! Get rid of me then, you stupid sons of bitches! You, c you can't tell me what I can and can't make on my YouTube channel. And then after this, Farmer came back. Okay, I thought that he was gone, but nope. 
and they said, oh, Farmer's gone, you can come back, because one of the things I said was, I'm not coming back unless Farmer's gone. I thought he was gone, because that's what they told me. Turns out he was just inactive. So I came back, okay, Farmer exiled me again, okay? So I came, in, came out with the same stance, I'm not coming back until Farmer is gone. Third time, this time he actually is gone, because from what I've been told, he was doxxed. If you don't know what doxed means, it's basically when your personal information has been released. Now, the thing is, though, I don't know what to think about that, because some people have asked me what I think about that. I don't know what to think about that, to be honest with you, because the guy was... He's not just a bad person to me, he's actually... He's evil to me. Farmer is evil. Because not only does he do the kind of horrible, horrible things that I told you about, he's proud of them. He takes pride in it. So to me, that's not just being a bad person, that's being evil. That's being an evil person. But at the same time, you know, his personal information got released, guys. So, that's gonna affect him for like the rest of his life, dude. So, even if he does redeem himself, you know, it's still too late, you know? But no, anyway, moving on, this was after he got doxxed. I came back. Tawny's still around, okay? Now, the thing is, I'm not scared of Tawny Prince, okay? Not one bit, okay? I will roast the hell out of that dude anytime, any day that I'm available, okay? Anytime. If he wants to come into a Discord chat with me and try to roast me, I'm up for it. Anytime. Anytime. But I don't go to play at the NJO to get harassed. I go there to have fun. Because I know people there still like me, okay? I go there to hang out with some of my old buddies. I go there to have fun. I don't go there to get into roast battles. That's not why I'm there. And that's what ended up happening. Was like every time I even talked in the Discord chat room, he was there. Like just waiting for me. I mean, that uh, that shows that he literally has nothing better to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, and of course, every time I went to Karelia, he was there. Team killing me and everything. And the people above would do nothing about it. Um, so, after that, I left again. And this time, it was for it was for good. So before, what my stance was is that I'm not coming back until Farmer's gone. Then after that I left the third time, I was like, oh, I'm not coming back until Tawny's gone. Well, I have a new stance now, okay? I'm not coming back, period. That's it. I'm not coming back, period. Because I'm sure a lot of you... Yes, I've been asked this a lot, too. Am I ever coming back? No. Absolutely not. I am not coming back. I may, every once in a while, visit, but I'm not coming back. Ever. And the reasons are because, like I said, if I if I go to Karelia, I don't go there to get harassed, okay? Now, my name has been slandered a lot in the Discord chat room of the NJO. Even after I left, my name's been slandered there. You know that somebody actually got exiled for the, from the group for saying they support me? Yeah! Yeah! I'm not even kidding. And that's because Tawny's actually high up. You know? For whatever reason. Because he bullies other people that are in the group as well. The guy is liter the literal definition of toxicity. I think I pronounced that word correctly. He is literally the most toxic person I've ever met. And yet, he is up there in the ranks. You know? That's what I, that's what I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah. Like I said, I'm not scared of Tawny Prince, never will be. But I just don't go there to get harassed. You know, I don't I don't go there for that. And of course, I don't want to go to a place that I've been slandered in, you know? If anybody says anything that's positive towards yours truly in that NGO chat room, they're going to get in trouble. I mean, you know why that is? Because I tell the truth. Because I tell the truth and they don't want them to hear the truth. They don't want them to believe the truth. They want them to just be fed this these lies, these prop this propaganda about me, you know, when everyone knows that I did nothing wrong, and they just got rid of me because they wanted more power for themselves, okay, it's that plain and simple, and they just want to keep that truth hidden, they want to keep that hidden, and I know this video is going to get a decent amount of views, because anything about the NJO and this channel gets a lot of views, okay, and I'm sure there's going to be some dislikes from some triggered HRs who were part of that whole, whole ordeal, and, you know, from Tawny's gang, his gang called Mean, you know, 
which is literally the most toxic Roblox group that I've ever seen. Literally, they give each other Robux just to kill other players. I mean, give me a break, man. Give me a freaking break. So, yeah, that's why I left the NJO, pretty much to sum it all up, because I was getting harassed all the time, okay? I gave the group two chances after I left originally, and they didn't change. So it showed to me that n no matter what happens, th the group is unsalvageable. It can't be saved. It's too far gone. You know what I'm saying? It's too far gone. And on top of that, guys, I'm making an audiobook right now. Like, I'm trying to get a team together to make a Minecraft audiobook. You know? Like, literally, I took time out of typing up the audiobook just to make this video. Like, my fingers hurt, dude. And my head hurts because I've been having to think so much. Been thinking all day long, you know? Thinking, you know? Something that people like Tawny only do, like, once a year. Um, but yeah, no, because on top of that, dude, my real life's getting more and more hectic. I'm getting, have, I'm having less and less free time, so I don't have the time to commit to a group anymore. Like the time I do have, I'm committing to my audiobook. You know, I can't commit to both. I'd have to choose one, and you know what I choose? I choose the audiobook. If you guys want me to come back to the NGO, you know who you can blame for me never coming back. You can blame Tawny Prince. Okay, you can, you can blame him. All right. Blame him. His farmer's gone, and so is Stink. Those two are gone. I know Farmer's gone, obviously. I haven't seen Stink around. You know? I'd be willing to roast him anytime, too. Um, the guy literally sounds like he's 12 years old. Same thing with Tawny. Tawny especially sounds like he's friggin' 12. All three of them do, actually! Believe it or not. Farmer, Tawny, and Stink, they all sound like they're friggin' 12. Um, but anyway. Yeah. That's pretty much all I had to say for now. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Oh yeah, and before I end the video, no, I'm not triggered, okay? Because I'm sure that's what some of those um, HRs who betrayed me and are now, like, hating on me are going to say. Like, oh, Bernie, you seem so triggered in this video, man. What's wrong? I'm not triggered, actually, because I'm very happy with what I'm doing now. I sound like I'm angry in this video because I'm just serious. You know, that's just me being serious. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference between being triggered or upset and being serious, okay? But it can be easily confused. Anyway, just wanted to say that.